Hello and welcome to things I find interesting that happened today in the past, aka TFIT to ITP. This show is all about the events that occurred today in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source of this information comes from the smart device application on this day, the icon of which can be seen as cutoff prevention at the beginning and end of each episode. The music in the background is Breathe by Glued, which I found on the YouTube channel No Copyright Sounds. For links to the app, music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar. And just in case the wind from this fan is hitting the microphone, that's just too bad because it's 84, 85 degrees right now, and this room does not get any AC, so oh well. Anyway, on with the show! Today is Wednesday, aka Wednesday, April 20th, 2016. In 2011, the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1977 relating to weapons of mass destruction was adopted. Now hold on a second, why so late? We've had nuclear arms for about 60 years and chemical weapons for around 100. I guess better late than never, I suppose? I Looks like human life isn't really that valuable in their eyes, it seems. In 2010, the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig exploded in the Gulf of Mexico, causing the deaths of 11 workers and starting an oil spill that would last half a year. In 2007, the Johnson Space Center shooting occurred, in which William Phelps, armed with a handgun, barricaded himself in NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, before murdering a male hostage then himself. In 1999, the Columbine High School massacre occurred, in which Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold murdered 13 people and injured 21 others, before suiciding at Columbine High School in Columbine, Colorado. In 1998, German terrorist group the Red Army Faction announced their dissolution after 28 years. Now that's interesting, a terrorist group announcing their disbandment. Is that even... is that even allowed? In 1972, Apollo 16, commanded by John Young, landed on the moon. In 1961, the Bay of Pigs invasion involving U.S.-backed Cuban exiles failed. In 1951, Dan Gavrilou performed the first surgical replacement of a human organ. In 1946, the League of Nations officially dissolved, giving most of its power to the United Nations. In 1945, during World War II, Adolf Hitler allegedly made his last trip to the surface to award Iron Crosses to boy soldiers of the Hitler Youth. Also in 1945 and also during World War II, U.S. troops captured Leipzig, Germany, only to later cede the city to the Soviet Union. In 1939, Billie Holiday recorded the first civil rights song, Strange Fruit. And yes, that image was disturbing, but not all history is sunshine and unicorns, so get used to it. In 1939, Adolf Hitler's 50th birthday was celebrated as a national holiday in Nazi Germany. In 1926, Western Electric and Warner Brothers announced Vitaphone, a process to add sound to film. In 1918, Manfred von Richthofen, aka the Red Baron, shot down his 79th and 80th victims, which became his last victories before his death the following day. In 1902, Pierre and Marie Curie refined radium chloride. In 1876, the April Uprising began. Its suppression shocked European opinion, and Bulgarian independence became a condition for ending the Russo-Turkish War. In 1871, the Civil Rights Act of 1871 became law. In 1862, Louis Pasteur and Claude Bernard completed the experiment falsifying the theory of spontaneous generation. In 1861, during the American Civil War, Robert E. Lee resigned his commission in the United States Army in order to command the forces of the state of Virginia. In 1836, U.S. Congress passed an act creating the Wisconsin Territory. In 1828, Rene Calley became the first non-Muslim to enter Timbuktu. In 1775, during the American Revolutionary War, the Siege of Boston began, following the battles at Lexington and Concord. And in 1657, freedom of religion was granted to the Jews of New Amsterdam, now New York City. First, April, March 1965, February, January 1964, just kidding. Now hold on a second, wouldn't it be funny and sad if the whole purpose of naming their child April, March was in hopes that one day, some loser on our global connection using moving picture technology would do exactly what you just experienced? Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf, 1962, Adolf Hitler, 1889. And that concludes Steve at ITP. For your dose of passive and I am Ayo, and you are you. Toodles!